Hey, what's up YouTube? Today we're going to be working on the Toyota pickup and we're going to be installing one of these batteries. These are the excess power batteries. Uh, this one's the D2400 and this is the D3400. We accidentally uh, got the measurements wrong so I think this one's not going to work. But either way, we could try the D3400. The only thing is that this is a R, but at least we could use this one as mock-up. So we end up switching the battery. And the R, the only difference would be that the posts are uh, backwards. So the positive is on the left side, the negative is on the right side. And on the D2400, the positive is on the right side and the ground is on the uh, left side. So let me throw it on the truck real quick. Let's walk over to the truck and I'll show you what we're dealing with. All right, so this is the batteries in the truck right now. We already did the big four upgrade. So we use these big six post GP um, battery terminals. They're pretty beefy. The only thing is that these sit too high. So the D2400 that we ordered for this truck is an inch higher than this battery. So I'm pretty sure that would make these um, battery terminal things hit the uh, hood. But we have to see if hopefully it doesn't. Uh, so what we did is uh, we ran power to the fuse box, power to the starter, and power to the alternator all the way around to that side. And then ground to the chassis, ground to the alternator casing, and ground to the body right here. We showed all that in the previous video. So we're going to start off by removing this bolt. It's a 12 millimeter. Be real careful not to touch this with anything that has ground. And put the bolt back. And now for these posts, it is two Allen uh, bolts. The one that locks it into the post and then the one that clamps it together. So let me go grab that real quick and then I'll remove both sides. So this is a side by side. D2400 next to the battery that came out of the truck. And I don't even think this battery was meant for this truck to be honest, but who knows. Rough measurement from the side of this battery is roughly six and a half. The D2400 is also six and a half. And the length is 10 and one eighth. And on the D2400 is 10 and a quarter. This is where the issue is at. This one's seven roughly and this one's like eight and one inch so it's about an inch taller or oh, it is actually an inch taller but let's give it a try i'm gonna throw it in here and the good thing is that this uh battery brace thing right here is not bad so it's not rusted out or anything it's a little bit of rust but it's not bad let me go ahead and throw that battery in here and hopefully we can make it work okay so with the battery terminals just sitting on top it already looks super high yeah i don't think that's gonna work now you can see right here a little too tall and these cables might be a little bit too short yeah because um the battery posts are gonna sit even a little higher than this so that might not even work let me see what we could do all right so we threw the 2400 back in and we put these posts on here and just to test fit it real quick we just put this bolt with a little bit of grease on top we close the hood and nothing so i think we should be good uh, we even pressed the hood down while the hood was closed just to make sure at clearance and it didn't even touch it so what we're gonna do is i guess we're gonna leave this one on here the 2400 
and we are going to throw the charger on here for now overnight we're just gonna swap out these uh these cables over to this and then uh we will be connecting the charger okay so the bolts on the terminals are a little bit smaller i'm um, bigger on um, the ill custom so we had to open up the holes on these terminals just a little bit we're just using this step bit to do it so we have to go one by one and recommend not to do it like this I'm gonna go ahead and do it like this either way so it's just a little bit you see I don't know why the seat train got this ugly, but then leave it like that. And then we're gonna do all these other. We're gonna do all these other. Um, so let me go ahead and do the rest of these cables. And all right, so we threw the cables on here, and we did a quick test again. So that's the grease. We also put some on here, but I wiped it off right now. And we only have some right here and very little, so we're good. That's the ground side. And that's like at its highest point, so we should be good. Now, we have to throw this one on, the starter one on, the power side, and we should be good to go. This is the alternator. And by the way, we used a uh, two gauge welding wire, as you see, you guys seen in the previous video. So that's what we're running for the power side on this uh, truck. So make sure to go check that out. But for now, let me finish putting these cables on and then we'll turn on the truck. This truck has a long crank cold start. So I don't think it has anything to do with the charging system. But let's see if we'll turn on right now. stations but that's cool no biggie that's it for this quick little install and once again uh we have these decals if you guys are interested uh contact us on instagram it is uh four decals toyota trailblazer camaro the easy 71 they are stickers so make sure to follow us on instagram at yonke underscore oxc films i'll leave that in the description down below and we'll catch you in the next one